Want to add some more economical key issues to your comic book collection? Well, here's five books that you can get under $100 a piece. Want to know what they are? Just stick around. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on when you're watching this video. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And today, I'm going to do a video that I haven't done in a while, where I show five comics that they are pretty key issues, where you can get them, most of them pretty easily, under $100 each. So it's a good way to add key comics to your collection without having to spend lots of money, especially if you're newer or just somebody that doesn't have a lot of money to spend. These are books you can pretty easily acquire. Now, um, one thing I want to remind people of, so this way you can save a little money, is um, if you get any of these, especially on eBay, make sure you activate your cashback program because I forget it on times. And if you pay for a book and you don't have your uh, cashback program ready, all ready to go, you're going to lose out. So if you don't know what that is, if you sign up, and the link is in the description of this and any other video, if you sign up for the cashback program, if you, first of all, spend $25 or more within the first 90 days, you get an additional $10 cash back. But right now, if you buy a comic book on eBay and activate your cashback program, you get 2% cash back. So it's a way, it's free to do, and it's a good way to get some extra cash back, save a little money on top of the savings here. So let's get into these five books. And uh, don't forget to wait until the end so you can see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. If you want to be one, just be a subscriber and you can ask for one. All right. The first one. Uh, this is a book that many people tend to overlook. Uh, this is Ghost Rider number two. And... Um, this book you can easily get for under $50 in uh, lower to mid grade. I only paid $11 because I bought it a couple of years ago. But this is the first full appearance of Damien Hellstorm and the first cameo of the Son of Satan. So um, who knows where the Marvel Cinematic Universe is eventually going to go if they ever start doing the underworld kind of stuff which they already started doing a little bit of in Thor Ragnarok, these could be sleepers that eventually could um, be worth something in the future. Now, obviously, if you collect books because you like to read them, it doesn't matter. It's collectible you know, value, but plenty of people do want to try and invest in comics and get ones that are key issues. So that is definitely a sleeper book. You could probably find it for under $20 easily in, in like lower grade. All right, next up, this is definitely a book that people should be acquiring. Uh, this is Avengers issue number 181. Uh, this is for the first appearance of Scott Lang, which, of course, if you know anything about the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, that is Ant-Man, the modern-day Ant-Man in the movies. Um, as far as they're saying, he's going to have a pivotal, pivotal, or pivotal, can't speak, a pivotal role in the uh, next Avengers movie. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. The character has been doing pretty well in its movies. Who knows if they'll get a third solo movie. But uh, again, an easy book to acquire. Uh, you could easily get this book for under $30, even in mid-grade. Um, I paid a total of $21.79. So another book that my cat approves. All right. It's another one of those. Um, this... Character already made a TV appearance. Who knows if we'll ever end up in a movie or anything. But if anything, like I say, the best time to get these is when they're pretty cheap. And this is Astonishing Tales featuring Deathlock. This is issue number 25. This is the origin and first appearance of this character. And again, they've already used him in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, so who knows if they'll ever use him again. But still, to be able to get a character that a lot of people are familiar with for cheap, and definitely um, a character that's known. It's worth taking a chance on. You could again. This is another book you can easily find for under fifty dollars in like mid grade. Of course, all of these books. If you're talking nine point eight, so you're talking, you know, it's going to be way above hundred dollars. But you know, you don't have to get a nine point eight in this book unless you find a deal. But I paid thirty two dollars and fourteen cents. So another good book that you might want to check out. All right, this book I've talked about before. But it's been a while, so um, you never know with the DC Universe. This is Forever People, issue number one. 
Now, the one that most people like is the Jimmy Olsen um, comic. Now, that's the first cameo appearance. That's one of the exceptions to the rule uh, because most people want, like, for example, Hulk 181, which is the first full appearance. Um, th but this is the first full appearance of Darkseid. Now, they're already talking about a Justice League 2. Now, who knows if it will be made and um, how long from now it's going to be out. But, I mean, you're talking Darkseid is a very major character in the DC Universe. And you can easily still get this, in, again, in lower to mid-grade for under $100. So this is a Jack Kirby cover. It's the lesser desirable of the two. But that just means you could probably get a higher grade for a cheaper price. And eventually they're going to use Darkseid. But even if they don't, again, it's a major character in the DC Universe. So definitely easily acquirable. I only paid $57 for this book. Now, the back needs a pressing and everything. But still, that's a, that's at least a 5.0, maybe a 6 after a pressing. So for roughly almost $60, still affordable. All right, this one I've been preaching since 2015 i have so many copies of this it's not even funny uh, it's been a while since i recommended it but you can still get this for around the hundred dollar range so this one's still it's getting up there but this is ultimate fallout 4 this is the first print um it is a bagged issue i have it still in the original bag the way you can tell the first print is you cannot see the face of who this spider-man is and of course this is the first appearance of miles morales now, again, if you're looking at a 9.8, you're going to spend way over $100. But even if you get and get this at a 9.0, still worth getting because they are going to be using this character more and more. I predicted it back in 2015 um, when I was buying these books for under $15 a piece. Uh, you're definitely not going to be getting them for that cheap. And if you can, buy them all up. But still... If you can find this book for under $100, and I've seen them out there, they're, they're averaging around $75 to $95 at this point. I wouldn't spend over $100 at this point for this book. Wait for a deal. But if you could find it for around the $75 range, it's still a good price. Now, there's going to be some out there that might think that's crazy, but I'll give you a prime example. When I bought my Ultimate, um, I'm sorry, the Edge of Spider-Verse 2, the 1 in 25 variant, I bought that back in the uh, beginning of 2015. I paid $93 for that book, and people thought I was crazy to spend that much money on that book. Well, that book I sent in to CGC um, back in like 2016-ish, and it came back a 9.8. So that $93 to $96 investment, um, if you look at GoCollect.com, that book is about a, over a $4,000 book. So I think I did pretty good. So uh, I do have a pretty decent track record with seeing how Hollywood works. And this day, this day and age, they want a lot of female characters and a lot of diversity. So expect to see more and more of Miles Morales. And the fact that his um, movie did very well, even though it was kind of a cartoon, you know, kind of a cross between a cartoon and a video game kind of thing, it still was received very well. So you, I can almost guarantee they'll make another one. Because if, if you know anything about Hollywood, if they make money on a movie, be prepared for a sequel. So this has not reached its peak yet. So $75 to $100 may seem expensive for this book. But pro I promise you that book will continue to go up, provided they continue to do the movies right. So those are the four books. I'm sorry, five books. So you got four plus a bonus. Um, don't forget to wait to the, to the end to see who's today's subscriber. Shout out. Don't mind me, it's about 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. I average about three hours of sleep for the past two weeks. So if I sound a little uh, verklempt, that's why. But um, hit the like button if you like these kind of videos. Share it with other people. So um, if you know anybody that might be wanting to add books like this in their collections, sharing the video will help. Um, leave your comments, and don't forget to hit subscribe. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Always appreciate your views. And don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next video. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.